Hey guys, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Um, today is a Q&A video and while we do this Q&A, what I'm going to do is I'll be moisturizing my hair. All I'm going to be using is my aloe vera juice and water mix. Um, literally, water is moisture, so all I'm doing is going to spritz it and retwist my hair. So, don't mind as I look this way, this is where I keep all the questions you guys asked me. Yes, I wrote it down and I did not have it on my phone. Um, so let's get started. First question is, what is your biggest complaint about your job? Well, sis, you just landed on a minefield. Because my job, at the current moment, wants to reopen in June for school. No problem, right? But we have the Rona out, and, um... You know, I'm a little worried about that. But I'm going to say that my biggest worry about work would definitely be the favoritism. Because, um, and Lord knows, I have story times about favoritism. But I'm going to leave it at that and just say the favoritism and the place of work and, um, amount of uh, unprofessional rudeness sometimes that's definitely going to be one of my big pet peeves about words if I may say myself uh, next question what got you into wanting to teach hmm so I knew I've always wanted to work with kids uh, I didn't really know what I wanted to do and then eventually the idea of teaching was suggested to me and I thought about it and um, that's when um, you know I've noticed I've always been around kids babysitting I was really good with kids kids were attracted to me so I thought why not give it a try and um, I love it um, the group age I teach are preschoolers. Why preschool? Because I figured if that's the beginning of, that's, if that is the foundation of their learning, why not make sure they get a good one? So, there's my story about getting into teaching. How are you dealing with this whole coronavirus situation and do you miss your kids? Oh, I miss my children. I miss seeing my babies in class, you know, I miss seeing their work, like, you know, their face they make when they finally are able to achieve something that they've been struggling with. I definitely miss that. Um, how am I handling COVID? Pretty well, if I must say. To be honest, uh, I think we should stay into quarantine a little longer than when they're planning on reopening the states. But... Other than that, quarantine been really good for me. I got to work on my business, my small business that I'm doing. Um, I got to definitely do some more networking, marketing. I got to learn about marketing, which is something I've always wanted to do and didn't have the time. I got to work on myself emotionally, physically, and mentally. That was definitely like the vacation we all been saying that we wanted. Some people don't see it as that, but I do because it gave me the time and the opportunity that I've been whining about. So, I must say I've been handling this pretty well. Um, yeah. <laughs> what is life? Life currently is in shambles and that's okay. Will I become a billionaire? You can. You can definitely become a billionaire. You just got to put the work into it. Put the work into it. Stick to it. You'll do it, girl. Do it. I support all the way. Where can I find another black <laughs> No, you don't need another black cat. So, um, even if I knew, I'm not telling you. Not need another black cat. 
Oh, okay. I'm bored. Are you? Sweetie, yes I am. There are some times when I get extremely bored and there are some times when even though it's quarantine, I am busy to the bone. And that is on business ownership. Period. Do you love me? Yes, sis, I love you. I love you very much. And this is the one and the one time you go out hear me say it. So enjoy it. Will you share, shave your head? To be honest, I am itching to shave it off again. I don't know about shaving all of it, but I might just shave the side. Maybe both sides this time, so. Yeah. What is your biggest regret? My biggest regret is out of all the colleges that I got into, I didn't pick a better one because I wanted to do it all by myself, so I didn't ask for no help. And I didn't do the proper research because, you know, I'm a big independent woman. Independent woman. Mm -hmm. That's what independent got me. While I was inexperienced, that's my biggest regret. If you can go back to relive one moment on your life, what would it be? Oof, that's a tough one. I'm gonna have to skip that. I don't know. Um. Cave win, one soon win. What? Cave win, one soon win. When are you coming back to me? I have a spare room and it's a gamer house. Girl, when this whole quarantine is over and everything has settled down and it is safe for travels, I'm in there like Donkey Kong, like I'm white on rice. All right. I'll be in there. We can play games. And um, I definitely will be shipping you your box very soon. So wait patiently. Now what else do we have here? When will we be free, my lord? I guess we shall be free when the government say so, but are we really free? Are we really ever going to be truly free? 100% freedom? They are currently trying to sign a law that will censor social media. Is that freedom? They are trying to take our freedom of speech away, so I don't know how much freer we're going to get. Will you be my child's godmother? Yes! Yes, yes, yes. God, mommy, I am ready. I am ready for the job. I would definitely, I would be honored to be your child godmother. Just know that they might get a little powwow, you know. Hmm. Um, how to save money and be serious about it. How to be serious about it well how to be serious about saving is that first of all you have to make up your mind that you do want to save um, one thing that's worked for me is I save cash uh, I don't like to spend cash so uh, especially if it's like the really crispy ones I definitely save those put them in an envelope I write what the goal is on the envelope like, like for example if you're saving let's see to buy a new camera you write the camera that you, the name of the camera you want you say go Nikon whatever and you write the price of such said camera so you know you need to save that amount for you to get your camera 
I would always say that you know it's good to save on a realistic goal not something that you know you just want and you know you may never achieve so definitely think about that you know um, everyone is different so you have to figure out also will you be your bills be paid on time is saving going to interfere with um, your bills being paid so you know you have to put yourself on a routine and stick to that routine no one can make you be serious about it you have to decide to be serious for yourself and once you figure all that out it'll be slightly easier to save you also have to change your um, your spending habits that's a very big one if you're trying to save but your spending habit is still out of hand you won't see much saving so you'll have to slow down on the Amazon shopping slow down on the Amazon shopping and you know take some time and debrief yourself is there any relationship you regret yeah don't we all don't we all why don't you ever do a slick button here's my thing with slick buttons Slick buns require a lot of gel, a lot of brushing, um, and if you've been on my channel for a while, you can see that I don't use gel. Girl, I don't even use edge control. Like, you know, on occasion I'll use the edge control to try to pull a style together. But me and Joes are not friends. Me and Joes are not friends. They look always flaky. It's always white. It dries. It never holds. So I never really use gel. Um, and slick buns. I feel like slick buns really pull on your edges. And I know people who do a lot of slick buns on a regular. Uh, not all of them. But I know a few. Uh, have lost their edges on the slick bun run so I like my edges and uh, my edges are wild and free as I am well wild maybe I'm not a freak but um yeah I like to keep my edges I don't want to experiment I don't want to try it so yeah no slick buns for me What got you into making soaps? Okay, so I am a very curious person. I want to try anything and everything and a little bit of too many things in life. If I could go to school and study everything and not have student loans, I would. I would do it in a heartbeat. I'm interested in a lot of things, so I research a lot of things. Um, the soap making started at, with me and my friend Dorothy. Um, she got into resin and got me into resin. Um, so both of us, we made coasters, we sold it, and then it hit me. I want to do natural products. Like I would like to, you know, make some soaps that are natural learn how to make soap and have it be, um, have it be without all the extra chemicals that's not exactly needed so that's how I got into it and um, from there on I've been learning about different ingredients that are used in soap different ingredients that are used in body scrubs bath bombs um, even candles I do so wax candles as well um, by the way check out my Etsy shop thank you um, 
yeah, that's how I got into candles. Mainly, um, we started an art page. We thought about selling our arts. And from then on, I just kind of branched out to soap making. I branched out to candle making, body scrubs, bath bomb. I'm also going to start making some bath soap. So, like, you know, bath salts and stuff, Epsom salts. Um, you know, all natural body care that's good for the skin and good for the spirit. Will you be quitting your job for your business? That is the angle. The angle is to be my own boss, have my own business, um, you know, consistent income of money. That is the goal. So the goal is to quit a 9 to 5 and be my own boss. So, that being said, I think, yeah, eventually I will quit my job. Question. Are you currently single or taken? Girl, I'm wildly free. <laughs> Anywho, no. Uh, I'm single. I'm single. And I'm single. <laughs> I mean, if you out there and you want to invest in my business and change the status of single, by all means, um, no. But, um, no, uh, I am single and I'm interested in a person, and you know, that's how the game goes. The game goes that I am single and I'm interested in a person. Are we talking? Maybe. Will things go further? If God wish it be. Uh... I'm not in no rush, so it is what it is. Are you worried about your biological clock? No, Hunte, I am not. I'm not. Um, I've always wanted to adopt children, so I was never worried about my biological clock. Uh, per se, I mean, I did find, I did, or I was with someone who made me feel different at one point, but then once that relationship ended, so did the feelings with it. So, I currently do not want my own children. I do not want to carry, I should say. I am all for adopting children because there are some children out there who don't have a home. So if I can birth one, love it, care for it, give it a space to live, you know, feed it. So why can't I do that for another child that's currently struggling on this earth? You know, everyone deserves a chance. Um, It is what it is. Uh, what's the next question? What is your favorite meal? I don't really have a favorite meal. I don't really have a favorite meal. I don't have a favorite food per se. I eat almost everything. So I don't exactly have a favorite. I don't exactly have a preference. I mean, I could tell you the foods I don't like and the foods I don't want to eat. But there's also a lot of food that I want to taste. There's a lot of cultural food that I have not tasted yet. I want to taste. And I'm ready for quarantine to be over so I can go find those places and taste them. Like Vietnamese food, Polynesian food, um, you know, Native Americans, if they have their own like specific kind of food, I am totally down for that. I love Indian food. Uh, I like Greek food too, so, you know, your girl don't be choosy. Your girl don't be choosy at all. 
what's the next color will you dye your hair? Well, as you can see, my hair is currently different colors. It's actually half green, half blue. Why? Because I want it to be. Um, I wanted to go back to purple, but a lot of people started doing purple. And I was not with it. Um, I already did red, and currently I have a thing with reds where I do not want to be red. Sorry, there's not in there that I need to get. But, um, yeah, I have a thing with red, so I do not want to be red. I thought about purple, I thought about pink, but I hate pink. Um, if you want to know how I achieved this color, I actually bleached my hair. Yes, I bleached my hair. My curls are intact, they're not falling off, they're not breaking up. Um, I do not condone people doing this at home. Um, I definitely want you to go to a professional, talk to a professional. I've dyed my hair several times so I know what my hair can withstand, therefore I gave bleach a try. The first time I tried bleach, um, I chose the wrong one and my hair did fall out. Um, with this one, you know, I was a little more patient. I took my time. I figured out what works, what doesn't work. And then, I bleached my scalp. I actually did... I actually bleached it twice in one month. Um, first, I bleached my ends. Then, I went up to as close to my roots as possible. Oh, sorry. I'm just going to show you how I do these twists here real quick. Ooh, these twist me juicy. So yeah. Oh. So next is. Would you stop YouTube if your business takes off? No, I would not want to stop YouTube if my business takes off. If my business takes off, I still want to keep doing YouTube. I do YouTube um, not only for me, but also other people who ask for it. I also do it as a way to kind of, you know, journal my hair journey. Um, is to keep record of my hair journey in a way. I don't write things down very much. And sometimes, even though I do uh, the videos, sometimes I refer to my own videos. Like um, the DIY hair growth oil that I made. I'm gonna link it up here somewhere. Though I make it very often, I do refer back to my original video I currently am in the process of tweaking it a little bit so sometimes I do refer back to my original video just so I can see what ingredients I used the first time what am I changing the amounts I'm changing and how is it working for me so it's also it doubles up as a good point of reference for me myself and I Next is, where is that Q&A video you were going to do with your cousin? That is a very long, funny story behind that. Um, long story short, <laughs> the video turned from me and my cousin to me, my cousin, and a group of friends. We had, we at one point had started to record it, but then due to technical difficulties, we kind of stopped 
and we re we had planned on re-recording it. But life happened and we kind of never got together to do it. Will I try again? I might. What I'm going to do is actually hit her up and see if she do wants to try this again. We'll give it another try. Um, no, no, if it's just going to be me and her this time. Or if it will be me, her, and friends. So, when it's time, I shall post on Instagram and let you guys know so you guys can give us some questions. As I did not save previous questions. Um, yeah. That's actually, I, I left the juicy parts out, but that's pretty much sums up why we did not <laughs> record said video. What? Sorry about that. What color brand did you use for your hair color? Um, I have been using a vegan brand previously, but for this blue and green, I actually use Art Arctic Box. One second. So for the blue, I use Artif Fox Poseidon. Poseidon for the blue and it's Arctic Fox Iris Green for the green side obviously. Uh, I bought a smaller bottle of the green because what I wanted at first what I was going to do is use the green as highlights. So I figured I didn't need much and I would use the blue throughout my hair so I had two bottles of that. But since I decided, since I switched it up and did half and half, um, I have an extra blue bottle left, um, which I'll be using to replenish the color as the color fade. Um, yeah. Um, it smells actually, to be honest. Arctic Spot, that was my first time using it. The Arctic Fox was very conditioning to the hair. And it smelled amazing. Sweetie, when I said I'm walking around and you would not know I had chemicals on top of my head. They are a cruelty free brand, which is a major, major plus. But when I say the smell was immaculate, whoo, I was walking around smelling like roses, daisies, and everything nice, okay? I was smelling like everything nice the pop of girl but um it was very conditioning um as i had it i was as i was applying it to my hair i was able to actually also detangle with it so the same way i am finger finger detangling right now which is what i've been doing this whole time um i was able to do that as i was applying it through it glide on it had major slip surprise surprise all the other hair colors i've ever had didn't have that so to me that was a first and that was a plus so i will definitely use this brand again the previous vegan brand i was using was not so conditioning so once i rinsed my hair out my hair actually was feeling very soft it was almost like i did a deep conditioner even though i did do a deep conditioner after coloring my hair um i did this recently so as you can see you might have noticed that my nails are bluish my fingers are bluish and that's from the hair color because i did do it recently so that is that and also um perfect timing i finished my hair as i finished questions so thank you for staying all the way through but before I finish, I do want to 
talk about one more thing. What I want to talk about is I've been taking these hair, skin, nails, pills from It Works. I'm giving that brand another try because it never works. So um, it's a three month. I'm doing it for three months. Um, so this is where I am right now. I hope you guys can see it. It's about right here. And uh, I have two more months to go. So what I'm going to do is probably do a length check video eventually and an update video as the months go through. Uh, this is my first bottle. I have two more to go. And that is it, friends. Thank you for staying all the way to the end. And I'll see you guys into my next video.